My name's Steve Dewey. I'm a farmer in South Central Wisconsin. I have, um, I'm a cash grain farmer. I grow about 740 acres of corn and 380 acres of soybeans on average. We um, converted from strip till, or two strip till in the spring of 2009 following a flooding year in 2008 where we saw a lot of soil erosion. We had been no-till planting beans probably since the late 1990s, but corn had been conventionally tilled in a chisel plow system with fall chiseling and field finishing system in the spring. Our fertilizer application at that time amounted to applying potash and dap in the fall and then a spring pre-plant urea for our corn, and in 2009 we decided to go with the strip till thing because of all the erosion in 2008, so we revamped our fertilizer program. We now apply almost all our fertilizer um, at planting time, and followed with another side dress of, of nitrogen. So in our strip till application we are putting in our, our potash, we're putting in DAP, and we're putting in ammonium sulfate and that all goes on right prior to planting in the spring either the same day we plant or possibly the day before depending on what the weather and soil conditions are. With our planter we apply some 32 percent UAN um, in a 2 by 2 application about 13 gallons to the acre so we get uh, a good shot of nitrogen down there just for early growth. And then we also do some in furrow with some 1034O, three gallons to the acre with uh, a zinc solution alongside it and a send for um, as a root growth promoter to help along with early growth. And then later we will come back and side dress more 32% and depending on our, our needs versus corn on corn versus um, following soybeans. We found this system to be very effective. Uh, we have not given up anything in, in yield. I think we've increased our yield because um, almost all our nutrients are put right in the, the root zone and with uh, putting them in just in spring we um, I think we're growing, or we're you, we're improving possibly our water quality because um, we everything is right in the root zone. We don't have we're not putting it on in the fall. We're also being able to pinpoint our nitrogen applications a little more, timing them better for the the growth. Of the, of the crop, so we tried to maximize that. We found that the system has been a, a, a large fuel saver. We're planting our planting and um, we're stripping, we're planting, and we're side dressing for probably about the same amount of fuel, or possibly even a little less than what the, the fall chisel plow um, trip used to use on, on that loam. So. Um, that, that has become very efficient. We've just about halved our uh, fuel use on the farm. Our biggest use is, is in harvest now with the combine and the grain cart and the trucks. Those are our biggest fuel users. Um, planting and tilling or strip tilling has dramatically reduced the amount of fuel we go through. It's also been a, uh, a big time saver, especially in spring. You'd think putting all those nutrients together in a strip till system would um, actually slow down planting, but it hasn't, and it, it, it hasn't slowed it down at all, and um, we think we pick up enough efficiency that um, it's well worth the time that we have to, to use it. 